the emergence of Donald Trump as the U.S. president-elect gets another thumbs up. This time it's coming from Nigeria's President Mohamedou Buhari, who sees the outcome as a triumph of the will of the people. The president, in a statement, says he looks forward to working with President-elect Donald Trump to strengthen the already established friendly relations between Nigeria and the United States of America on several fronts, including foreign policy priority, anti-terrorism, peace and security, economic growth, democracy, and good governance. And mixed reactions continue to trail the victory of Donald Trump as the 45th President of the United States of America. Speaking to a State House correspondents after the Federal Executive Council meeting, the Minister of Labor and Employment, Chief Chris Ngege, says what happened is a major shift in the American political or to the American political decibel. According to him, America will not be the same again as Trump will bring his business acumen to bear to create wealth for American citizens. He also said that America has strong institutions that will not enable some of the negative sentiments made by Trump to come to fruition. And on his part, the Minister of Agriculture, Audrey Ogbe, describes what's happened in America as a confirmation of the fact that the current economic theories in the world have not been made to reach the common people, so they use their votes to speak. And on his part, Nigeria's Defense Minister, Masoud Ali, says Nigeria will continue to work with America in the fight against Boko Haram. He says that Trump will support Nigeria to fight insurgency. It won't bring more economic interest to Nigeria because he's a very shrewd businessman. Being a shrewd businessman, he will be more interested in doing business with the Jews, not Africans. That's the only place I feel and maybe a vacuum in the Nigeria-US economic relations. But politically and socially, it's positive, absolutely positive. But the fear now is also it will move Nigeria closer to China and Russia, but not to the US as it's supposed to be. It, 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 in fact, it will give China an upper hand, and also Russia a super upper hand. Yes, to come into Nigeria economy fully, especially in oil, gas, and power. That the U.S. don't give loans. The, the, the U.S. as a state don't give loans. AIDS. And these AIDS are always attached with one stranger or the other. So the Chinese could give and the Russians could give. But I promise you one thing. Having had Mr. Trump talk about um, deporting Africans, deporting Latinos, sending the, uh, the, the, the Muslim people back home, closing the school border, every core American wants to hear that. But he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it. Americans depend on the economy of these migrant people to survive.